Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a section view of our drill block here, and we're also going to learn how to dimension it using chain dimensioning. So once you have your part file open, let's go ahead and get started. You want to come on up to your workspace and change it from design to drawing, and you want to select drawing from design, and you want to select sheet size A, 11 inches by 8.5 inches, and then select OK. By default, it's going to bring in our front view. We're going to go ahead and select our style as visible and hidden edges. We're going to change our scale though, so it's a little bit larger to one to two. And then I'm going to go ahead and click where I want it. And I'm going to kind of place it right in this general area, right in here. Go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and bring in our isometric or 3D view. So I'm going to click on my base view again. And I'm going to change my orientation from front, front to home. And once again, I'm going to change my scale to 1 to 2, and I want to select Shaded this time, and I'm going to click in this top right area where I want to place the part. So go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and create our section view. So to do that, you can come on up and click on Section View, or you can go to Drawing Views and select Section View. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the view that I want to create my section view on. So go ahead and click on it, and you'll notice that these features, these midpoints pop up, these corners, the centers of circles. And what I want to do is we want to draw a line, a section view right through the middle of this. Okay, so I'm going to find that midpoint and I'm going to move my mouse out just a little bit. I'm going to click and then drag my mouse so it goes through the middle of the part. Click again and then right click continue and drag your section view down. Okay, and select OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and move some things around here so it's a little bit lower. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now let's go ahead and dimension our holes in our drill block. So to do that, come on up to text and go to hole and thread note. Okay, click on the hole and bring your mouse up. So it's something like that. And we'll move some stuff around later. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do the same thing for this guy. and select OK. Now let's go ahead and hit escape and move some of these around so we have a little bit more room to work with here. And it looks like we're going to have to move this down a little bit. All right, looks pretty good. And I'm gonna make one quick change. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit since we got some room to work with. And I'm gonna move this guy so it's, these lines kind of are more parallel and it's just good practice to make your lines parallel when you're dimensioning things. All right, so now that our holes are fully dimensioned, now we got to go ahead and place center marks on them so we can dimension their locations. So we want to come on up to center mark and just go ahead and click on the hole for each of them. Hit escape. All right, so now that our holes have center marks, let's go ahead and start using chain dimensioning techniques. So we're going to come on up here to our dimension tool. We're going to go to this bottom left corner and we're going to find the center of this hole and we're just going to move our mouse down so it looks something like this okay and we're just going to dimension um, from the centers of the holes to the centers of the holes and work our way across okay and we'll clean some stuff up here a little later so same thing here come down and 
and then our overall dimension is going to go from here to this side and then down. I'm going to hit escape. Now let's go ahead and clean this up so it looks a little bit more, I guess, legible. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in a little more. All right, so one of the secrets with Fusion 360 when you're moving dimensions around is to zoom in pretty far and you'll have more options. So for 0.75, I'm going to go ahead and move my 0.75 dimension over here on the side. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for my one here and move it in the middle and then move it so that it's in alignment with 0.75. I'm also going to move my 1.25 so that it's, they're all aligned basically. And it looks like they're in a chain, right? Hence the name chain dimensioning. And do the same thing with this one point, this uh, 1.25. Okay, and then for my overall dimension 5, I'm just going to place it, okay, right above it. And let's see if we can maybe get that to, okay, that looks better. So real quick, I'm going to actually just move this guy up a little bit more. And this one here, I'm just going to move it slightly to the left so it's a little, a little more legible. Okay, and that's probably about the best you're going to be able to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And then the last couple dimensions we're going to add is uh, the centers or the locations of these holes going vertically. So we're going to come here to that and then go out across and then do the overall dimension and place it outside of the one. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to move that one in here okay and then the last thing we want to do now is to dimension the depth here so coming on to your dimension tool and this distance right here we can actually place it on the section view okay I'm gonna hit escape let me zoom out a little bit okay and when you're all finished you should have something that hopefully looks like this thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time